Hi guys, I'm Carly, one of the team members at Miami Culinary Tours, and I'm obviously not working right now, so I've been spending a lot of time at home, as I'm sure you all have too. And one of the things I've been doing since I've been home is cooking a lot. I really love to cook. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is cleaning up and uh, tidying things up. And I noticed that my spice cabinet was a big mess, and I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure some of you have messy spice cabinets as well. So uh, I thought of a really cute way to, uh, to spruce it up and clean it out at the same time. And I wanted to show you guys, hopefully you get a little bit of inspiration on how to up your spice cabinet game, cute and affordable way. So stick around, I'll show you how I did it. So if you're anything like me, your spice cabinet might look something like this at the moment. Maybe a little better, maybe a little worse, but as you can see, it's not that easy to navigate through here. So we're gonna definitely change that, right? Okay, so then you're going to empty out your spice cabinet. See, mine's dirty down there. I'm going to clean off those shelves because this is probably the only time I'm ever going to have them empty to clean them off. So make sure you do this step. I pulled everything out and I am uh, going to sort through it all, see what I have doubles and triples of, organize it all together. I don't really like the way all these primary containers look and all these mismatched uh, bags and bottles. So I am going to show you guys how I will uh, sort this all out and make it look really nice. I got tons of these little jars at um, at Target. I happened to score them in the dollar section. They were, I think, six for three dollars. Um, dollar, whatever. Anyway, you can order them online as well uh, on Amazon. You can actually order a whole kit, but they're great little spice jars and they come with this top right here. So you can just take that top off and you can fill them up with which, whatever you would like. Now, the holes on this top are very small. So what I learned I could do with this is the top of the Badia spices um, comes with this one and it fits perfect. So if you have a larger spice like parsley or something, you can use this one or you can omit it all together if it's something that you always only scoop out. But these were a really good find. I'm really happy I got them and I know Target has them right now. So there are two ways that you can get this from this container to this container and um, that is either by funnel or uh, by wax paper. I'm gonna show you how to do with wax paper because do it with the funnel is pretty easy, okay? So all you wanna do is take off the lid, pop off the top, pour the entire contents out onto the wax paper. Have this one ready. Then you can open it up. and just start pouring that on in. Own jars, and they're all labeled right now on the bottom. But I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do about those labels in a minute. I also got some large jars for the spices that I have a lot of, like Sison Completa. Um, I happened to find these along the way, I think at Office Depot, um, but you can buy labels anywhere, Office Depot, Walmart. You can also, like I said, order them. They're actually pre-printed. You can get them from Amazon, or you can get beautiful ones from Etsy. Um, but these come with a template. You can just go online, fill out the, the template and print them out. Um, I didn't want to do that though because I really love um, writing and drawing. I have beautiful penmanship. So I actually wanted to just make my own with my own, um, with my own beautiful pens. So I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. I decided I wanted my labels on my jars to be black. So instead of printing them on white or just writing the letters on these beautiful white stickers, I'm gonna go ahead and paint them black. This is a matte black. It comes out very chalkboardy, and I really, really like that. I'm gonna paint each one, and I'm gonna make sure that I get the thing entirely and completely. After the black paint dries, I'm gonna go ahead and write the name of each spice on each label using different color pens. So after I'm done um, painting and writing all the names of the spices, I'm going to go ahead and peel off each label and stick them onto the fronts. Uh, if you printed yours out, that's exactly what you would do. Just peel them off and stick them on. And uh, then we are um, ready to go load up the cabinet. Beautiful spice cabinet. Very proud of this. So you'll see over here I have my spices. Um, down here I have my savories. And then on this side I decided to do my typically sweet spices. Um, who knows how long that organization is going to last, but for now I think it might help out a little bit. And then you can see up here I have things that you can't take out of the containers. Your pepper crackers, my everyday seasoning that cracks out. No point in taking it out. We use that all the time anyway. Nice looking anyway. So I'm going to leave that how it is. But I'm very happy about this, how this turned out. And I have a little surprise that I didn't show you earlier, which I put my vinegars and oil into these gorgeous bottles. 
they're from the dollar store. All you have to do is take your um, vinegars, your oils, whatever you got, and decant them into these. I didn't like how the stickers looked on the outside of these facing out, so I just put them on the bottoms. Well, that's all for me. I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing how I turned my cabinet in, from a messy cabinet into a really cute spice cabinet. Uh, I had a great time. And um, please come back. I'm going to try and tackle my pantry next. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and you can find this all on Miami Culinary Tours on Instagram. And uh, please don't forget to follow me, Carly, at Almost Famous Miami uh, at Instagram. And uh, cheers. Wishing you well. Please stay safe.